Hey guys, this is Chad with Quad Questions LLC. I'm going to do a video today on how to set up your LEDs uh, in clean flight using a NACE 32 Rev6 board. So to start, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug the model uh, into clean flight and get that loaded up here on the screen. So I have auto connect selected so it automatically connected there. Our board's connected. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your LED is wired correctly. On this, this is a pretty standard LED right here. You want to wire in the DC in as your signal wire. It, it says DIN. That's your signal wire. 5 volt DC is your power, which I'm running over to the servo rail to get my 5 volts, as well as my ground, which is also run over to the servo rail. My signal wire is run into pin 5 on the NAS32 Rev6. That's the only one that's attached. Signal wire. Pin 5. That's all you should need to get this LED working. After you have that plugged in and you're connected in clean flight, you then have to enable a couple of different features to get this thing working. First of all, make sure you don't have any soft serial ports enabled. If you have soft serial enabled, the LED will not work. So make sure that's not enabled. You can check to make sure that's not enabled. First, you could just go in your ports tab and you can see that there's no soft serial ports. Secondly, you could go into the configurations tab here, scroll down, and you will see soft serial is not selected. The second thing that can cause an issue is your receiver. You cannot use a PWM based receiver you must use you must use PPM or a serial based receiver so right now we've got a D4R2 hooked up uh, and it's just hooked up via serial port which is enabled on UART2 serial RX is enabled scroll down in receiver mode it says RX serial so if you have all of that set up this should be a breeze next what you're gonna do to get that LED to turn on, we're just going to scroll down in the Configurations tab under Other Features. We're going to go right here to LED Strip, Multicolor RGB LED Strip Support. We're going to turn that on. Then we're going to always, whenever you enable something, you're going to want to do this, but then we're going to go down to Save and Reboot. So I just saved and rebooted. The next thing we're going to do, just as a precaution, I always like to disconnect and reconnect. Go back to the Configurations tab. Make sure that that stayed on. The only reason it wouldn't stay on is if there was some sort of conflicting issue, like your receiver being PWM or a soft serial port enabled. Those are both disabled. LED strip remains on. We're good to go. Next thing you do, Plug in the battery and watch the LED strip activate. And we're good to go. The LED is now working, which is good. We can now go into LED strip over here on the left side in your tabs. You can click right here, and this is the page you can now set all sorts of custom settings to get that LED to do exactly what you want it to do. We're going to do that in another video. It's a little bit more advanced. There's some other things to do, but that's how you get your LED working. So that should be everything you need to get that LED strip activated. This is Chad with Quad Questions LLC. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. Until next time. <laughs>